Good morning, friends. Let's continue our discussion on actions on Spark, R Spark RDD. In the previous video, we covered reduce. In this video, we'll cover the fold. This fold action is very much similar to reduce, which with some small differences. So let's see what is that. Since RDDs are partitioned, the fold function takes full advantage of it by first aggregating elements in each partition and then aggregating results of all partitions to get the final result. The result of this function is the same as this RDD type. For example, so we have, we already know that the RDD uh, can be divided into multiple partitions. But for, by default, uh, if you're using local star, then it will be creating the number of cores of partitions, for example, four. And for each of the four uh, partitions that has been created for RDD, the fold function, what it does is that, suppose I want to get the sum of all those, uh, all the data, uh, which has been divided among the, those four partitions. So it will do is that it will start with with the initial value. Normally we start with the zero value, and it will take uh, keep on uh, aggregating the sum for each of the partitions. And when all the four partitions will be having the sum, then it will uh, combine it into like one single uh, one single sum, which is which is the expected uh, behavior for this fold method. So on, as you can see that in the reduce previous reduce method, we are just directly uh, doing the sum and uh, re this reduce will by default take the zero starting from zero. Uh, but in fold, we can actually explicitly provide this zero value for doing this ac accumulation. And uh, in the, for example, I mean, we will be using this fold method, we starting with zero D and we will do this double of sum. So let's dive into IntelliJ and write some unit test. So I'm in my IntelliJ and uh, this, are, this is the previous test case that we did for reduce method. Now let's do the similar for fold now. So to save some time, I will just copy this and reuse it with the fold method. So let's change it uh, test part fold method. And I'll just call it again fold method. Uh, and what else? So we can do the parallelize. And here, instead of doing this reduce, I will call fold. And here I will start with zero values first and then do the sum. This is the only difference. And here, let me change a little bit fold rdd fold so this is the all that we need to change we just change this reduce to fold method okay now and we and uh, let's keep it uh, the number of sizes 14 uh, and instead of uh, using the default of four cp number of course so let's keep it at for 14 and let's run it so let me run this now i'll run this we can also do control shift f10 so it will take some time to run it. Okay, so it's running it now and it should print it 10 times and then it will take the average of that. Okay, so it took around, around one, uh, one second. Okay, so let's uh, do a small thing that because we have also written the reduce method before and also the fold, let's do it for both of them. Uh, so I will do it by running from here so it will do it for both uh, reduce and fold and let's compare that what is the time taken for both of this whether we are improving uh some with fold or not but as i said i don't think there should be any any difference because fold and reduce are quite similar to each other they are both uh, segregate uh, the, the operations on individual partitions and calculate the sum so we are doing it for reduce right now so the reduce is printing and 10 times and it took uh, let's check it again once it completes for fold as well. Okay, so fold is running. Uh, the only difference as mentioned is fold actually takes the initial value. Okay, so now it, have, it has been run. Let me expand it. So for the reduce, it took around 1.2 seconds. And wow, this fold was less than like around 781 milliseconds. Okay, this time, I mean, uh, I think uh, it just depends on the chance, right? Sometimes the number of CPU cores available is like it's more or some other thing some other thread was like not not very busy so this all depends so it's around so, but here we can definitely see that fold is taking much less time than the reduce method okay guys so this was all about fold uh in the next video we'll cover the next aggregate method which is again quite similar but uh have got some further uh, like custom operation that we can do so see you all in the next video